hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm not sure to keep this video asmr but um i'm still sick so my voice might sound a little weird um so if you guys don't know i've been sick for almost um <clears throat> a week it's been about five days i'm finally starting to feel better and i'm I feel better enough to film a video um so my breathing is getting back to normal i have a <clears throat> cough right now my nose is still messed up like a little stuffy but finally starting to unclog to where i can breathe um so the good news is that i i don't have covid um that's good i took a rapid test and i took a pcr test and they both came out negative so that's good so um this was just like a cold or just a regular flu virus i think it's because the weather is changing and usually the weather affects my body um <clears throat> So I'm still not completely back to normal, but um, I'm still going to be like resting and making myself uh, feel better. But I just wanted to update you guys. Oh, my stomach's making weird sounds. Sorry if you hear that. Um, but anyways, it has been such a crazy week. Like, it's so crazy. Um, this started on... This started on Sunday, and, um, yeah, I remember on Sunday I just woke up and I had, like, a little, like, tickle in my throat. Like, I woke up, my body was overheating, even though the air was on, um, my air conditioning was on, and, like, I had a tickle in my throat, and I felt nauseous, and I was like, oh no, like, I know my body, and I feel like I'm gonna get sick. <clears throat> Well, Monday and Tuesday were the worst days for me. Those when, like, that was when my breathing was, like, the worst. Like, it was so difficult to breathe. Um, it felt like a very heavy weight was sitting on my chest. And the doctor basically gave me an inhaler. And I've also been using my, uh, my fiancé's nebulizer, which has been helping me a lot. Um to just breathe you know <laughs> like um i've been taking a sudafed nyquil dayquil tea um tylenol i've been taking a bunch of different stuff now my doctor did prescribe me um antibiotics to take he prescribed me um i think the name of it is um, Zithrin, some something along those lines. Um, but I decided not to take it just because I read the reviews on this medicine, and the majority, if not everyone, said that they had extremely bad side effects, like stomach pain, nausea, vomiting, dizziness. Like, and I know that's like common with all medications have side effects but um for some reason something told me not to take this um my stomach is very sensitive to certain pills and i really am i was already feeling nauseous and like not okay and i just didn't want to deal with the side effects of throwing up diarrhea i didn't want that so I kind of knew what medicines my body could handle and didn't have those side effects. Tylenol and Dayquil were um, medicines that I've taken before that I'd never had those side effects. So I just decided to take that. Um, <clears throat> and Sudafed, which I was also nervous to take Sudafed. Like, I don't like taking medications. I know I'm sick, but like I just I don't like taking medications a lot unless I like really need to just because for me, like I'm very sensitive and the side effects take forever. 
to leave and I just I didn't want to deal with it so um so yeah Sudafed I, I took the nighttime one last night for congestion and it really helped like I was able to just sleep through the night and uh not wake up and have to blow my nose or cough um I'm sorry about the background noises I don't know what that is I think that's a plane Or is that the washing machine? I don't know. Um, I think it's the wash the washing machine or something, but anyways, so that's how I've been doing and I've been eating a lot of soup because the soup for me it really helps um, clear up my nose and it's just the steam from the soup makes me feel better. Um, I've been having uh, cough drops, nasal spray, just, and this is all affecting my breathing and this, this whole area. Um, when I first woke up on Sunday, I had like really bad nausea and um, I, I was thinking, okay, it's probably going to turn into like a stomach virus, but it didn't, thank God, because I'd rather have this than a stomach virus if I'm being completely honest um but so it's it's been it's been rough um and then yesterday uh we had to take my dog to the vet I'll tell you the story let me just set up a little bit here okay so basically long story short though um my fiance basically was cutting her nails and she kicked up her leg and she was bleeding from her nail and the bleeding wouldn't stop so we had to go to the hospital um we weren't gonna go at first like we were looking up how to stop the bleeding and one of the sites said like cornstarch and baking soda put on her nail that wasn't working then we called up an emergency place and they said to put like rub, rub a bar of soap on her nail that wasn't working and the blood like kept gushing out like it was all over the carpet it was in the bathroom like it looked like a murder scene um <clears throat> and yeah so she's doing a lot better now because the vet put some medicine some something on her now uh so that was like traumatic um, so it was just, you know what I mean, it's, it's, it's been a crazy week. Uh, oh, another thing I've been putting on my chest is, you know, a Vicks that helps open up my lungs and, and Tiger Balm too. So I've been taking medicine, resting, um, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys, um, on how I've been doing. And thank you to everybody who has reached out and... Uh, <clears throat> wish me, you know, well, uh, and all that stuff, so thank you, and more videos to, whoop, and more videos to come in the future once I'm feeling fully better, because I have, like, I have a lot of requests from you guys, especially on Instagram, go follow my Instagram, if you guys aren't already, at ASMR Jazz, I'll put a link in the description box so I am doing um custom uh videos which I can either send through email or just Instagram but it, it would have to be sent in like parts and as far as the pricing goes I would have to discuss that with you right now I'm keeping it like um every so like five dollars for five minutes but um it also depends like how much you know like, it, it really depends what you want because if it's something like um you know crazy role play like just uh then i'm gonna have to charge a little bit more but i'm trying to keep you know um <clears throat> i will negotiate the price with you but I, I'm doing that, so if you guys want a custom, 
DM me. We'll talk about details, whatever. Um, you can pay, you can pay me through uh, Cash App <coughs> or PayPal. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I, I sound terrible. You can so Cash App, PayPal. Um, yeah so go follow me and that's about all i can think of right now um i also post on my story to give you guys keep you guys updated um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys soon